so within indic religions particularly in advaita vedanta and shaivism and also in self enquiry we typically refer to this concept of an illusion what is this illusion actually the hindi word for illusion or the sanskrit word for illusion is maya the word maya comes from the word matra which basically means measuring out so the root meaning of the word illusion or maya is the reality which is measured out so in that sense illusion is also a reality what do we mean by measuring out a partial reality randomly picked from a complete reality is a measured out reality the reality which is the foreground without considering the background behind it every time you look upon an object or come across an event you are measuring it out in itself without referring to the rest of the universe which is the background when you look at the complete picture you no longer look at the measured reality or maya so one meaning of the word illusion is partial reality or measured reality and in that sense it is a reality the word illusion can also be referred to in the context of a temporary reality a reality which doesn't sustain a reality which pops in and pops out a reality that is temporal transient this kind of a reality which is not the ultimate sustaining permanent reality can also be referred to as the illusion but again as you see this illusion also exists even if it does for the time being now there is this third context for the word illusion which stands for the reality which is a misperception the fact of the matter is that everything is nothing but consciousness consciousness is the ultimate substratum the ultimate screen behind all images even when you are looking at the images you are actually looking at the screen that is the only reality and the images that you observe and you consider these images to be images in themselves isolated entities in themselves that is when it is a misperception even this misperception is called an illusion so the word illusion actually stands for these three different contexts now what is common across these three contexts what is common is the fact that each of these illusion is also a reality in itself just that it is not the partial reality or rather just that it is not the total reality it is a partial reality it is a temporary reality or it is a misperceived reality why misperceived because the fact is that it is all consciousness it is just the projection of our individual ego on that consciousness or the creation or play of that consciousness itself or a combination of the two which is what eventually this misperceived reality is about but in all three contexts even if we use the word illusion actually all of these do exist though they exist as an illusion so it is important for a student of advaita to understand that the illusion doesn't mean that the reality in some or the other form doesn't exist it does but it doesn't exist in the ultimate sense and that is what some other religions particularly buddhism has called two levels of reality absolute and relative paramarthik and vyavaharik and it is important for a person to honor both these realities in their quest towards self realization and self abidance and even beyond that 
we continue to see the world in its native state once we are in abidance. But that doesn't mean we don't continue to see the illusory side of the world or the partial reality. We keep honoring both the realities all along. So always remember, even the illusion is a reality, just that it is not the ultimate reality. Think about it. Thank you.